We're going to ask one of the oldest questions, one of the hardest questions there is. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Question that has plagued mankind for centuries. And I want you to try and answer it. What do you think everything is made of? Oxygen. Good guess. Why did you say that? Because everything kind of is made, of, made out of nature. Well, let me ask a better question. If you smash stuff up, you can smash into small and smaller things, right? Mm -hmm. If you keep smashing and smashing and smashing and breaking it up into smaller and smaller things, do you think eventually everything looks the same? Like it's all made out of the same clay? Or do you think if you took some gold and smashed that up and up and up, it would look like one thing? And if you took some water, it would always look like water? Yeah. Is everything yeah. made of the same stuff when you get small enough, or are there different types of things? No, different types of things. Why do you say that? <sighs> because water is liquid, and wood is not. If you're breaking stuff down and down and down, you get to the smallest thing you can possibly get. And the Greeks called those atoms, because the word atom means indivisible, you can't chop it anymore. And there are only about 90, 100 different types of atoms. And everything in the entire universe, all things, are made up of those. How do you find atoms and then make them? That's an excellent question. Because you know how big Look atoms are? And imagine you were so small, shrink yourself, you were so small that you were stood right on top of that tip. Oh. So look at that tip and imagine the tip of that pin was as big as a playground. Now imagine leaning over in that playground and putting your hand on the floor and there's lots of tiny, tiny marbles. Those tiny marbles are about as big as an atom. Standing on the beach and picking up just one of those grains of sand. Yeah. Do you know how many atoms are inside that grain of sand? The, the same number as all the grains of sand on that beach. Uh, uh, oh, oh my god. It's quite a few. It's quite a few. Uh, like 10 trillion. So those are atoms, and they're only about 90 or 100. You made a good guess, Sam. 90 or 100 different types of atoms. And those atoms string together to make molecules. And everything in the universe is made of atoms and molecules. Everything's all things that are as different as you can imagine. Jelly and a sword. They're all made of molecules and atoms. Uh, we made some carbon, carbon dioxide. dioxide. And what goes in carbon dioxide? Oxygen. Two oxygens and one, and one carbon. Let me, let me see. Very good. Oxygen. What's in those two glasses? Water. Are they both the same? Yeah. Yeah. you got to look more closely. No. No. What's the difference? One's fizzing round like a fizzy. You can have a sip if you want. You can use all, a good scientist I'll uses drink. all their senses. I'll try this. That, that's water. Oh, that's water. No, no, no. All right, so what's that a molecule of? Can you explain what that is? Water. And what's it made up of? Uh, it's made out of that um, oxygen. No. Oxygen Oh yes, oxygen. What's this called? Uh, hydrogen. Hydro hydrogen. I That's know. right. That hydrogen is in the middle. Think. And two oxygen. No. no, they are oxygen. That's hydrogen. That's oxygen. There was a hydrogen. Yeah. There you go. See, you're wrong. So what's oxygen. in these glasses carbon, of water? Carbon. Uh, oxygen, carbon, and uh, this hydrogen. Is this. Hydrogen. That's and in this one. And oxygen. And this is just uh, ha, 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 hydrogen. hydrogen and oxygen. That's right. So that's got water molecules in. And that's got water molecules and is it fizzy? Nah. carbon dioxide. But why doesn't all the carbon dioxide come out? Describe what you see. Lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of bubbles. Coming Whereabouts out. are they forming? Near, near, near the pasta. Right on the pasta. Hypothesis about bubbles forming. This is rough. It's rough. So let me put this in. All right. No Test hypothesis. It's working. It's working. 
What's Lots happening? Lots of bubbles are on it. Lots of bubbles? And it's coming up, it's coming up, and it's coming up. What we're going to try and do is try and get all of the gas out of a bottle at the same time. And what do you think is going to happen if we do that? Uh, Explosion. Yeah. Kaboom. <laughs> Look at this. Draw it. Now tap that bottle. What's it feel like? The side of it. Hard. Do you know why it's so hard? Why? Because it's full of carbon dioxide gas. All you can see is the fluid, is the coke. But there's, see how much is in this bottle? Yeah. There's twice the amount of gas is pumped inside this bottle and trapped inside it. So we're going to release the gas and then we're going to throw in our Mento to see if we can make it. Ah, oh, I need to know the Mento. We've got a lot more, don't worry about that. We are going to drop this Mento in and Cork, we want to see how it explodes. See? Count to three, Sam, then run back. Drop it in, go back. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Oh! That is gross! And told that we put in one bottle of Coke. What happens if we put two Mentos in? Excellent question! And what happens if we put it in this oh! bottle of Coke? Okay, so we're getting the gas to come out all at once through the top in a regular bottle. But what if we got it to come through a smaller hole, what would happen? Because it's a smaller hole? Yeah. Alright. So let's make a smaller hole. Yes. Well, how do we do that? One of these. Now we're going to do a Coke ex explosion with these. Same with cake. What are these? Mentos. Where are they going to go? In these coats. And what do we think is going to happen? We think that it's going to blow up. I'm putting it into it. Yeah. Alright, let's get a bit closer. Off you go. No, Ready to run when you put it in. Whoa! Here we go. Whoa, stand back! Ah! <laughs> oh, I always got Whoa. Here we are. It's a really small one. And we're going to drop in five here. Pretty scary. Okay. I'm going to let go, Sam, and I'm going to stand behind Lucas so I'm safe. So I'm going to leave you here. Hold it tight, hold it tight, hold it tight, tight. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Oh. <laughs> explain what we're doing? We are, are going to drop these Mentos in this Coke bottle. And you better stand back because it will blow in your face. Are you Get watching? Get nice and close, Sam. Get ready to run backwards, though. Three, Get nice and close. Two, one. <laughs> 